Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Fishing Barents Sea. Been quite some time since we've played this game. Honestly been quite some time since I've played this game. Done a couple of improvements on uh, the vessel. I've upgraded the king crab quota. As you see we're gonna try to do 50 pots straight line. Hopefully with no issues whatsoever. I did do a trial run before. And I actually did start a recording prior to this. I dropped five pots in the water. Pot number six would not go in the water. So, seems to be a bug. I can't buy bait. Um, I've, I've Googled it a little bit. Some people are saying to toss all my pots in the water and buy new ones and somehow rebait them. I don't know, boys and girls, let's get into the game and figure it out. Now one issue I've always had in the past playing this game was staff. I've always had issues with staff being too tired and then in the middle of a job collecting pots, which is very important, they would go rest. Not anymore, hopefully, because we have a full staff, minus the one of course. So we need somebody on the crane and we need somebody to bait and set the pots. So he's gonna bait and set the pots, and you know what, crane operation, not to say that it doesn't really matter. But they're never gonna get better if they don't actually start doing it. This little thing down here, you gotta tick that little thing down there. Otherwise than that, they don't. Uh, yeah, they don't. They just don't. They don't do it. They don't. Uh, they don't toss the pots. I'm hoping that this works. I'm really hoping that this works. It didn't earlier. I only had five pots in the water. I collected all five pots. I did actually pretty good money for those five pots, which was cool. Super cool. But um, I want 50 pots in the water. So he's grabbing the first one. Let's see if he's gonna drop it, bait it and drop it. There's the first one going on the table. It's being baited. Okay, then why the hell did he stop at five earlier? And there's pot number one, boys and girls. All right, so round two, hopefully. You know what had happened? I don't know if that made a difference, but on the previous recording that I tried to do, when I paused my recording saying, uh, because I'm not gonna record me dropping all 50 pots and me collecting all 50 pots because that's just gonna take way too much time. When I stopped my recording, I could have done something in the gameplay possible it's quite possible so I'm just not gonna stop my recording this time hopefully it works better so I'm trying to get some speed I want to go at least 16 knots at least 16 knots because the problem is when you collect them when you collect the pots you need to have the speed no, you need to have the distance between the pots because it takes a while to actually collect. So there's pot number five. No, four. Okay, we stopped at pot number five earlier. So let's see if it's going to want to um, continue on pot number six. I have 50 all in all. There's number five. Come on. There you go. He's gonna pick up number six. Now I tried to do it manually myself. I went down there and I tried to bait the pot myself and there's just, there was nothing. The pot bucket was empty. There's nothing I could do. Now he's gonna bait it. He is baiting that pot, boys and girls. It is going to work. All right, I am not going to pause the recording. There's pot number six in the water. I'm not gonna pause the recording, but I will speed this up till I get to either pot number 50 or the halfway mark. I'll see you guys in just one bit.
just about to hit the halfway mark and let's see what we're up against yeah it's pretty straight right dead in the middle of the um highest concentration D definitely we're not gonna have 50 pots in one row um so we're gonna spin it around and do another row so we'll spin it yeah just this way 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 all right there you go we're gonna continue on that more or less that route we're gonna do the best that we can to follow this route now this entire time from i'd say about, about pot number 10 to 20 i didn't even touch the controller at all it just went in a straight line and that's what i love about open waters it just goes in a straight line you don't have a problem i think the first time i ever did the king crab no maybe not the first time maybe the second or third time that i did king crab I ended up dropping the pots and it was it was beautiful, it was nice. I don't think I dropped 50 pots. It may have been 20, 30 pots, whatever it may be. I was, I was, it was my first time, well, second or third time, whatever it may be, I was still learning the process. When I picked up my pots, there was this huge storm brewing going on and it was just impossible to have any kind of control over the vessel in the water it took me so long and i lost so many pots in the process four i gotta go to, towards five so i gotta bank to the right on this one here if i can see marker number four it should be to my left But I'm not seeing marker number four. So I'm gonna drop this pot and then I'm slowly going to start turning towards pot or pot waypoint number five. Try to stay, we're trying to stay in the middle right where the line is. So we can get the most crab as we can for the bank, for the buck, for the effort. Not much effort on my end. But I'm like everything else you got to start at the bottom of the ladder this game is awesome i love this game you start with a small very very small vessel your grandfather's vessel i believe you either inherited the vessel or he gave it to you one or the other and you got to gut your fish manually trust you and me both that's not an easy job to do and then you got to work your way up to this big boy when there was the glitch earlier where the pots weren't going in the water, I uh, I had to go back to, I guess, my home port to switch vessels just to kind of get the glitch out, which is what the Steam community was saying. And I took the time to look at other um, vessels and because, like I mentioned before, this one is specifically just for King Crab. And then I have the Lunar Bow, I believe, which is a trawling vessel. I was looking at one for line fishing. Just casual line fishing, you know, something with a freezer, something that I can enjoy doing. And uh, yeah, I just, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> and then the bank won't lend me any more money because I'm so in debt with the bank. Because when I started playing the game, I had a vessel. I had, I don't remember what I had, but I was in debt with the bank because I had a vessel. And then I ended up watching a, uh, a YouTube video. I gotta change this. I ended up watching a YouTube video and I seen the King Crab and I was like, well, goddamn, I wanna get myself some King Crab. So I ended up discovering that I had to buy the DLC, which I ended up doing. I bought the DLC and um, in the process of owning the DLC, well, I needed a new vessel. So I got in more debt with the bank and then I just never had the money. You can't, you can't pay it off a little bit at a time. You got to pay off the whole amount, which I'm in debt for like 23 million. So I got a ways to go. So that little dick that I did here at the bottom stops. Um, no, not that stops them from throwing pots in the water. 
So right now they're still going to be working, but they're not going to be tossing any pots in the water. Just so I can do this turn, I want to go in between 6 and 7. I don't want to go right at 6 because there's pretty much nothing at 6. I want to line it up with 29. So we got, what, 21 more pots to go in the water. Let's, let's get ready to reactivate this thing. Fuel is full. Trottle is full. Uh, mechanical, we're good. How tired are these guys? Uh, he's getting tired. But he's good, though. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's toss you in there. And let's take... You know what? Let's take you in here. You're going to be the new train operator. So we're going to slow it down. We're going to wait for this guy to show up. Once he shows up. To his position which there he is just about we're gonna reactivate this thing right about there and there you go so we're gonna be setting up baiting and setting up pot number 30 now we are dropping 50 pots in the water this is for king crab season is still open i believe I believe, not 100% sure, and you can't quote me on this, but I do believe the season closes in October. We are September 30th. So the season is about to close soon, so we're going to be stuck on a fish real soon, which is not a problem. I'll drop 20 pots, and I'll be right back. There you have it, last pot. Ended up doing uh, pretty good actually, and, uh, and having the throttle full speed, I think is going to work out super well. We're only going to find out once we actually um, start picking them back up. But there you have it, ladies and gents, pot number 50 in the king crab season. You can go rest, and you can go rest. That's it. Game's over. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm just kidding. All right. So now there's there's no real way around this. You have to wait. You don't have a choice. You have to wait. You have to wait until your pots are green, preferably blue. With the fact that we have 50 pots in the water, by the time we start with pot number one, which has been in the water for five, well, almost six hours now. If we start this one at blue, by the time we get to pot number 50, it'll be red again and, and you risk losing your pot. So I want to start that one when it's green. Like I said, there's no way around this, but let's remove these. This, 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 nope. This and this, all right, here you go. And then, um, waypoints, that's it. We're gonna go cruising around. That's all you can do to pass the time. Ooh, I just paid almost a million dollars in my monthly loan, all right. Well, I mean, maybe now it's gonna be down to uh, 22 million. That's good, we got the money, we got the money. All right, so it's been in the water for 13 hours. I, I think I calculated around 14 or 15 hours, yeah, it changed. So about 13 and a half, it changes to yellow. So now we're gonna wanna stay close by. They're all slowly going yellow. We wanna stay close by, we don't wanna go to, there they are, green. So around, around 15 and a half hours, I would say they would start turning green. So actually I wanna move this over here and I want to do second one over there. We're going to fast travel like so. And there you go. Okay. We're going to start collecting some pots again. Uh, I want to zoom in. Crew. 
And then we need the one on crane and the rest all sorting crab. You are a professional at sorting crabs. He's good at sorting crabs. Pot and baiting. Uh, machine getting, pot baiting. He's actually not good at, he's good at operating a crane. So we'll put him on that. You're gonna sort crabs. You gotta get some experience anyway. And you know what? You are going to sort crabs as well. Let's go boys and girls. See what we can do. All right. Now, I prefer doing this at night. Fortunately, you don't always get to do what you want to do. I'm actually gonna turn this off. I do believe you need this off to collect the pots, but you need it on to be able to drop pots in the water. Like I said, this is actually the first time since I've owned the game that I have used an AI to operate the crane. I used to always operate the crane. It was a lot of work. See, now it's just turning blue now. Number one just turned blue. So hopefully it's going to go quick. I have four people um, sorting the crabs. It should go quick. And obviously the first pots are right on the edge. So we're not going to have that much crabs in them. One would think. Then again, maybe we're going to have like a million in there. In one pot. And then our quota will be full. I actually don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm far away from my quota. But my tank's only 80,000. I see the buoy right in front of us. We're going to start slowing it down. So whenever you actually pick up a pot, your throttle automatically goes to neutral. Which is good. Uh, you know, it's good when you're doing the operations yourself. Like I said, I used to do the, uh, the crane operation. So as soon as you pick it up, Boom, boat goes on neutral. It's like it automatic, automatically drops an anchor. Which I think is pretty cool. All right, let's, I can't zoom it out. That's as far as I can zoom it out. Oh, oh, oh you're over here. That's an odd place to be. Was I just not following the right line? I just came at the wrong angle? I would assume so. All right, first pot's in. What's gonna be the tally? Come on, ladies and gents. Come on, there's a second one right there. I mean, you gotta speed it up. 66 crabs, that's pretty good. That's a good start to number one. There's number two coming in. I see number three right in the horizon. Get a little bit of throttle just so we can make that turn. And there you go. Now we should be on the straight stretch towards all of the pots. Pot number two is being offloaded at the moment. We got four crew members sorting crabs, which is a first in all the times I've ever played this game. And we have one on a D crane operation, which again is another first. And that leaves us with two spare crew members when those get too tired to work. Hopefully, we're not gonna have any downtime at all. And as soon as I find another, a, 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 I guess an eight, 67, that's good. As soon as I find an eight crew member that I can hire, that's got good qualifications for the, the job, we will be hiring number eight to reduce any kind of downtime whatsoever. So they're actually doing pretty good. I'm gonna keep the speed up. The pots are pretty spread apart. You have to account that the faster that you are when you grab that pot, it takes a while for it to actually reel all the way into the vessel and the crane to actually grab it. So you may be halfway through to the other pot, to your next pot, by the time that the, that pot's actually on the vessel itself, which is almost the case right now. But these guys are sorting crabs pretty quick. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Slide over to the left a bit. All right, slow it down a bit, slow it down a bit, slow it down a bit. See, now they slowed down. That's 69, good, 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 good. I didn't slow down. I mean, I started slowing down, but we did pretty good. We did pretty good. Where's the next buoy? I don't see it. I don't see the next buoy. Anybody see it, see it, see it? You see it? Ah, there it is, I see it. All right, a little bit to the right. There it is. All right, I'm gonna collect some pots, ladies and gents, and I'll be with you in just a bit. We're 
going a bit fast. As you can see, they're, they're starting to, well, the pots are getting bigger and bigger, right? So I'm starting to be a bit fast. By the time I get to the pot, I actually have to reverse thrusters just to be able to slow it down a bit because these guys are slow. So I don't want to catch too much speed, but look at these pot numbers, man. We're doing pretty good. We're at pot number seven now. We're already got 2,700 kgs of fresh fish. Whoop. That is a good sign if you ask me. Nobody's tired just yet. You can see in the horizon pot number 50, 49s, they're still yellow, so we still have time. Uh, once they're getting to a certain point, like they're gonna go yellow, blue, and then if they're in the water too long, they're gonna go green again. Obviously, you don't want them to be green again. Jump the gun, I was talking. I'm sorry. Oh, there he goes, perfect. So 105 crabs, it's pretty good. And then catch that one and then speed it up. Off to the next one. You can see right there, straight ahead of us. So if we could get, I think the best I've ever had in a pot was like 250. No, I'm not, I'm lying. I think it holds 250. I think the best I've ever had was like 215, 216. I, you'd have to go back in my videos or I would have to go back in my videos and find out because I'm pretty sure I had it recorded. Way back in the day. It's been a long, long time, long time, long time. So pot number eight is being sorted as we speak. Everybody's good. Everybody's too tired to work. We're about to grab pot number nine. We're gonna slow it down to neutral. Once I get to about this point is when I'll start traveling back. There you go, 123, good stuff, good stuff. Speed it back up, let's go towards pot number 10. Now at some point we did catch a little bit more speed. I mean, this was still in the process. I mean, this is not like a car, it's a, it's a boat, right? So it takes a little bit longer for you to speed up and catch your actual nautical mile speed. Is that what it's called? I know it's nautical miles, but is that what speed is as well? You would think. I uh, no. let me know down in the comment section. What do you, how do you calculate speed on a ship, on a boat? Is it by nautical miles? It should be, not 100% sure. Not much water around where I'm from. We're gonna keep it around this trottle, just around like this. We're still blue. I mean, if this could be a perfect run, I would be super happy. I think I've done one perfect run once before, 117, look at that. Done, pick it up, let's go. No screwing around, done, pick up, done, pick up. The numbers are a bit low, but I mean, the practice run that I did earlier off recording, my last pots, I was getting about 25 crabs per pot. I mean, those, those were some low ball of numbers but I didn't time anything right either. Um, I'm pretty sure they were red by the time I picked up the last pots. Maybe the last 10 to 15 pots were red. So I'm still lucky I didn't lose any pots. In the water. Come on, do it again, perfect timing. Let's kick it in neutral, pot number 11. You know, slower down, slower down, slower down. 167. I think that's our highest number so far, boys and girls. 167, 167 crabs. Now, you're only supposed to catch the males. You have to, when, when you start off and you don't have the money for the employees and this and that, which I paid. So when you hire an employee, you have to pay X amount of money to hire said employee and then they take a percentage cut of what you're gonna haul. So if you haul, you know, a million dollars, they take, let's say, one point something percent out of it, whatever it may be. When you don't, when you start off, you don't have that kind of capital. You don't have the kind of money to be able to hire a lot of people. So you end up doing it yourself. So you're gonna end up sexing if you play the game. You're gonna end up sexing some, um, some crabs. It's super easy to do. The AI do a great job. Although I don't think I've ever had the AI do the sexing of crabs and not have a penalty at the end of the day. 
Uh, it's a thousand dollars or a thousand kroners penalty per female king crab that you have in your tanks. So it is what it is. If they put 10 females in there, you got to pay 10,000 kroners. Not sure what a kroner is in, I guess, American USD funds or Canadian funds. I'm Canadian, right? So I, I, I'd always go Canadian funds. I'm not sure what a kroner is. A little bit of a let me slow down I'm talking too much I'm not paying attention I'm gonna scoot over to the left a bit as well I do have side thrusters on this vessel right and left which is another thing that you're gonna want if you play the game it's just a little bit confusing when you're using a gosh darn remote 31 Ugh. what the hell is that about so normally your forward and reverse buttons on your controller, which would be the under buttons, um, are your side thrusters on the vessel. So if I'm, for example, I play a lot of Grand Theft Auto. So if I'm playing Grand Theft Auto, I'm thinking on the right side of the controller, my button is to speed up. On this vessel, my right side of the controller is my right thrusters on the ship. As you can see, I'm using at the moment where the compass is. A little bit confusing when you're not used to it. That's all it is. So 31 crabs, I don't know what the hell that was about. Let's slow this down to neutral. Scoot on over to the right just a wee tad and just about like so. We went from 167 back up to 76. Numbers are not as good as I was hoping they would be not as good now we're still gonna make a really really nice bang for our buck okay it's a little bit further away this one it's good we want them to be further away now all the 40s are in the greens it's a possibility that once we get to like 40 anything above 40 it's a possibility they will be red it's quite possible um, I've never lost the pot. Actually, yes, I've, I've lost pots before. Um, not because they were in the water for too long, simply, well, I mean, in a sense, yes, they were in the water for too long, but I had filled my boat. My boat was, did I fill my boat or did I fill my quota? I think I had filled my quota for King Crab in the previous, um, fishing season I had filled my quota and I had to stop wait wait, wait hold on this this oh, I can't I can't do that I can't I can't check the the book what's my quota it doesn't say my quota on here my quota is pretty high I got a pretty high quota Anyway, we're going to find out. I'm pretty sure that's what happened the last time. I had filled my quota. I was at 100%. I couldn't collect any more. And I had a lot of pots left in the water. I don't remember how many pots, but I lost a lot of pots. Because you, I just I couldn't collect them because they had crabs in them. So the only... 41. The only thing that I could have done is go back to harbor increase my quota drop everything that i have and then go back and it still would have lost my pots because then at that point it would have been in the water for too long so it's a whole mess it's a whole mess or other i'm gonna keep collecting some pots and i'll be with you guys in the 30s or something 